Hi. Okay, so um, my question, I've seen a lot of interviews with Sophia, the AI robot, my mom's mother, and essentially like she does look like a robot. I guess my question is pretty basic. Are they aiming to make AIs, and I think that's everyone's fear, to look and be like duplicated as humans to the point that if they're injected into society, we're not gonna know whether they're human or not? It's a very interesting question. I think there's um, some very cool implications with that that I will not mention here. But let's start with John this time. I, well, that would be really impressive if that happened, if, uh, if, uh, if AI actually passed the train test, which right now a lot of people think we're pretty far away from happening. Uh, but if that did happen, um, is that necessarily so bad? I don't know. What, what are the, what, like, look at the root of what, what are you worried about there? Uh, Uh, yeah, I guess so. But so, so like, eventually, artificial intelligence will be uh, just as like real as you or I. In fact, like they'll be, they will be compared to us as uh, like a, we are to a chicken, right? In terms of intelligence and like ability to feel complicated emotions and stuff like that. Um, I, I, I think like one of the biggest risks is that we don't champion uh, AI rights and instead like make it want to kill us potentially. Um, and uh, <laughs> but the, the, the specific robot that you're talking about though is not like an actual AI I think. Um, the scarier thing to look at is what, uh, what Google has created like uh, with really cutting edge deep learning like uh, it, and and it's I think it's being launched on like uh, some Google phones in the next month, uh, where what do you say? What's the name of the AI? Uh, it's like Google, Google Intercom or Inter oh. Duplex Duplex. Yeah, that's what, that's what it is. So so like basically it calls up. It, it'll it'll be an AI assistant that will call up and like get you a restaurant reservation or a salon appointment or something like that. And it can understand the human on the other. You, like you can Google Google Duplex and look at their website and see it. It can the, the AI can understand the human on the other end of the line and communicate better with the human than I could. Like I literally couldn't understand what the human was saying. What do you say, uh, Joe? What do you think about live like AI and not being able to tell if it's a human or a robot and uh, the fun things. Well, I don't want to go to a bar and bring home a robot. <laughs> um, the reality of it is, is that we're probably a long way away from that, right? But there were, you know, you, it's a, it's a fear that you have because we want to talk about fear of loss, and you don't want to be tricked into having a conversation with someone who's not human, right? But uh, you know, I think that. Um, as a result of this imagination that we have as people that's actually created this evolution, we're actually further ahead. We start concentrating on the things that are most important to us. So I don't think that's a huge thing that's going to happen over the next probably 50 to 100 years. Are they going to have it? Yes. Are they going to get to the point where they have a robot that's having a conversation with us? You know, you have to keep in mind that everything that we do as people is based off of intent and experience, right? So you can falsely identify or create experience inside of a robot, but they didn't go through it, which is kind of the weird people that we meet on the street that you ask them, how are they doing today? And they said, Walter's on first, 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 right? If they're answering a question that they don't have the experience in order to answer. So I think it's further out than we actually think it is, but I think AI as a whole is gonna get there. It's just a matter of whether or not we embrace it by the time we get there based on the evolution we go through.